我他妈该录啊！好了，我哥，我他妈啊，他妈干嘛呀 ？G'day guys, Rev is back again tonight, covering ninja films. I know a lot of you guys like these as well. Um, so and getting into the mood of it, I have my official Godfrey Ho ninja headset on, and no, they're not underpants, even though they say bonds. They're it's an official, sorry, a, an official Godfrey Ho. Ninja headset it was called on eBay. That's what it was said anyway as in the listing um, So we'll move on to the the ninja tapes as such um, a lot of you Aussie guys Will remember a lot of this artwork and stuff from the video shops um, The majority of these are as I say Godfrey Ho films. There is American ones thrown in the mix Which I'll show rage of the ninja um, that one wasn't too bad look uh, Godfrey Ho films are, are an acquired taste They're very cut and paste um, very cheap, uh, dubbed very, very badly, and the ninjas as such run around with colourful clothing on, um, but, you know, I don't know, like I say, they're an acquired taste, and surprisingly, there is quite a few of us that, that do like these things, um, but, uh, I think for a lot of people, they like the designs on these clamshells, uh, more than anything, I, I can sort of fucking identify with that, I guess, but, um, I don't know, like I say, I, I just love these films, um, Richard Harrison features in quite the majority of them, I'd say fucking 90% of these things, um, Ninja Commando, that was quite good as well, I mean, I, I'll say that about fucking most of them though, but, you know, like I say, these, ni they're, they're ninjas, but they run around with fucking white uniforms on, um, camouflage uniforms on it and, and you know brightly colored clothing in, in some of them which is uh, it's ridiculous but i find it amusing ninja terminator from memory was quite a good one as well they're after some sort of um rubik's cube type fucking idol thing that you put together to give you supreme power or some fucking nonsense it was it was quite amusing uh instant rage a lot of these i get mixed up and, and, and can't sort of recall. I mean, to me, like I say, I think overall, they, I found them amusing, but a lot of people probably wouldn't. Um, but, you know, storylines and scripting and all that, I, I get there. It's like a jumbled mess to me. They'll, I get them all mixed up because there's that many with the similar plot lines and everything, if you can call them plot lines. But, um, yeah, this one was, was quite a good one as well. Um, I have watched this, but I really can't remember this one. But what I'll show you is, as you can see here, it sort of apes the Pray for Death cover. And it took me a while to figure it out. I'm like, where have I seen that before? And then I dug this out, and I was like, ah. And that, you know, that sort of happens a lot. Shogun's Ninja, that's an old, I think it's a 70s film, and it was quite good. Sony Chiba is in it, and um, the rest of the cast I really don't know, but it was, it was quite well done. I don't think it's a Shaw Brothers film or anything like that, but it's it's not a bad one. Ninja Champion is the most hilarious ninja film I've ever seen in my life. It um, It's Godfrey Ho again, of course, but it's like... It's unused parts off of other films and such, you know, things like that, all tacked together to the point where, you know, a, a scene will play and fucking, you know, one minute later, it's night time, and then it's back to daytime and stuff like that. Like, my wife had tears rolling down her eyes because it was that that bad and that hilarious. Um, Shaolin Ch Challenges Ninja. I honestly haven't even watched this. It's just another in the collection that sat there. Ninja Project Daredevils. I think that, again, was quite a good one. Um, I think I paid a bit of money for that one as well. But as I say, I, I just love the fucking designs on these things. Ninja Demons Massacre. I mean, even the titles of the films as well. See, so yeah, you know, they run around with, like I say, bright coloured fucking yellow ninja bloody garb on and, and such. Um, of all of them, from memory, this was my favourite one. Uh, ninja Warrior. And it sort of copied Revenge of the Ninja in that the, there's one of them running around the bad guy with a, with a chrome ninja mask on. Similar to like... The Chrome Mask and Demons. Um, Ninja Hunt. I think that one was pretty average from memory. But as, as I say, I mean, look at the shit they wear. It's just... It, it just defies belief. Um, Platoon Warrior, sadly, that's a bit faded. Um, 
Right, I don't know why they put R ratings on them and such. Well, this one says M there with an R sticker, but I mean, I guess they're violent, but you could never take these things seriously, you know what I mean? Um, they're a fucking laugh riot. I remember this one was quite funny as well. Um, Silver Dragon Ninja. I don't remember an awful lot about it, but I remember I was fucking laughed my ass off. Now I'll sort of move into the American-y type ones. Um, Secure Killers, that was quite good. Chuck Connors is in it. I need to go back and watch it again though, because it's been a, a long, long time. So here we are with fucking Silvery Demon Master again. Um, but from memory, that one wasn't too bad. Enter the Ninja with Franco Nero, fantastic. I, I can't recommend that enough. The um, the Aussie DVD is cut, the new Blu-ray is uncut, and this old tape is uncut as well. Show Kashugi, Pray for Death, fantastic. I think every one of you probably watching this has, has seen it. Um, I know a lot of prints were cut. I used to think ours was, and it's not. Apparently, it's just the way the film is, so we do have the uncut um, tape. American Ninja. I do have the other parts as well kicking around somewhere, but um, I'm fucked if I know where they are. I can't find them. Um, Michael Dudikoff. Uh, there's no point in me rattling on about that, because no doubt you guys all know the fucking film. Um, Ninja 3, The Domination. Very, very good as well. Again, another American film on the ninja sort of genre, but um, yeah, well worth checking out. Really cheesy, over the top fucking nonsense. And something that I think, again, nearly everyone watching this has probably seen Ultimax Force. Um, really cliche, Americanized, again, take on the ninja fucking genre, but um, yeah, definitely worth a watch. Fantastic. Of everything, I think. Um, my favourite is Revenge of the Ninja. Um, in my eyes, it's the best. Shogashugi again. The best ninja film. The most violent that I've ever seen. Um, and I don't think this thing will ever be fucking topped. Uh, this Blu-ray came out um, the other week there with Enter the Ninja and Revenge of the Ninja on it. Um, on blue. I haven't checked out the print on the Re Revenge of the Ninja, sorry. But the print on Enter the Ninja... Um, with Franco Nero, it was absolutely fantastic. Like I, I couldn't believe how clean it looked. Um, and as I say, I love the film that much. I have this Daybill poster that I really, really need to get fucking cracking on and, and get that frame, but I'm yet to find a frame that will fit. Um, DVD-wise, um, this one with Scott Adkins. Um, for a newer age film, I didn't mind it. It was quite good. I mean, there was... Unfortunately, CGI blood effects and such, which I hate, but I sort of got past that, I guess, because it's it, it's quite well done. Um, and the second part, Ninja Shadow of a Tear, was quite good as well. Um, I think from memory that was even better than the first one, to be honest. And this piece of shit, I wasn't even going to show this because I hate that fucking Casper Van Dien, whatever he's called, out of um, Starship Troopers and all that crap, but... I think it was like a dollar, so I picked it up a few weeks ago, and it's it's still sitting here unwatched. I I don't even know if I'll dare even watch it, to be honest. Um, but that's about it, guys, um, ninja film-wise. I mean, I have other martial arts films and such, but as for the ninja-type stuff, that's about it. Um, I don't know what we'll cover next time on my videos, so I'm sure I'll come up with something. I'll see you guys in the next one.